everybody. Welcome to Reawaken Live again. Glad to see you. Um, today is going to be a little bit different than usual. Uh, so usually we do him request live where you guys type in. I was going to say call in. You wouldn't call in. That would be strange. Uh, you type in your requests. Um, we're not doing that today, but we will do that again pretty soon. Today is uh, kind of a guitar tutorial day. We are going to do four hymns with four chords. So we're going to go through four hymns that are easy to play on the guitar and only use four chords. Today we'll be uh, doing all of them in the key of C. And if you want to play along, uh, there are chord sheets on my website. So there might be a card up in the corner you can click here. If not, um, go to www.reawakenhymns.com. Click on the chords tabs and then you'll find all of the chord sheets that I have, including these four we're going to play today. Um, and while you go do that, I'll tell you which ones we're doing. We are doing All Creatures of Our God and King, Nothing But the Blood of Jesus, Be Thou My Vision, and I Surrender All. So those are the four hymns we're going to play today with four chords. Uh, as you get the chord sheets real quick, just while you're doing that, I just want to say... There's a weird stigma to four chords. It's kind of an insult sometimes. Oh, there's another pop song with four chords or worship song with four chords. Uh, but that's kind of a strange insult to me because it's kind of like criticizing a recipe for only having four ingredients. Like, that's okay because it's a simple recipe and you don't want more ingredients. More ingredients would be a more complex recipe. That's fine, but you don't need them. Um, so four chords is fine and it's actually in music theory, it's most of the dominant chord. It's the ones you're going to use the most anyway. Your, your dominant, your subdominant, your tonic, uh, and the six. I don't know what that's called in music theory, but you're going to use those most anyway. So that's what we're going to use today is four chords in the key of C. Um, hope you got your chord sheets. So now I'm going to go over the chords that we are using. And I'm capoed on two only because my guitar is down tuned. So ignore this capo. You're gonna be just straight up, no capo. This is only because I'm down tuned. So I'm playing in the key of C and if I change that, I will tell you. So in the key of C, we're gonna play one, four, five, and six chords. So our one chord in the key of C is our C, obviously. And that is just a traditional straight up C. I didn't have the ability to like put up chord diagrams right here, which would have been awesome. So if you don't know how to play the chords, uh, there are lots of apps for that on the store you can look up while we're playing, or you can Google them. Um, so this is just a straight up C. You can see there, let's see if I can get closer. That's a C. That's our one chord. And then our four chord is our F. This one's a little tricky for most people, but it's really just like a C and you move down two of your fingers. So from the C here to the F, you just move down this finger and this finger, your index and your middle. That's our F. Our five chord is our G. Here, we're gonna play a little different G than normal. So if you're used to playing a G, you probably play it like this. We are going to play ours like this. It looks just like the C and the F and it'll be an easy transition from that. A minor is just your typical A minor. So the key here is we have an anchor finger right here on our B string, playing a C that we never move. And we never have to because it's a C and that's the key we're playing in. So you can see this finger never moves. So when I do our one, it doesn't move. When I play our four, it doesn't move. When I play our weird version of our five, doesn't move, and then A minor doesn't move. So we have our one, our C, our four, our F, our five, our G, and our six, our A minor. So we'll play those real quick. One, four, five, six. 
So those are the only four chords that we are going to use today for these four hymns. You'll see me do a couple weird things that you can do if you want to try them. You don't have to though for the songs. One, I do this subconsciously a lot. I hammer on my middle finger there. I just do that. Just I don't even know I'm doing it. The other thing I do subconsciously is I'll add my pinky finger in. It's a, a G. So it's on the E string on the third fret. So sometimes I'll add that into like this. Again, you don't need to do that, but those are just some fun things you can do if you want. So those are our chords. Let's get straight to our hymns. So our first hymn today with four chords in the key of C will be All Creatures of Our God and King. So I'll sing through the song. The first verse, I'll kind of say what I'm doing and put out and yell out the chords and then the other two verses we'll just play through and you can play along with me so the only special thing I do here is between the C chord at the beginning and the A minor chord that's next I drop the C on my index finger down to a B and then to the A minor so it sounds like this So the C to the B to the A minor. That B is not necessary to the song. Again, it's just something I like to do. But if you can't do that, that's totally fine. Just go from the C to the A minor. So let's try that. All creatures. All creatures of our God and King. So there's our one to our six. Lift up your voice with the C. Four, oh, praise Him. Hallelujah. Back to our sea. Thou burning sun with golden beam. Walk down to our A minor. Thou silver moon with softer green. To our F, oh, praise Him. To our C, oh, praise Him. Back to our F. the chords out loud anymore if you're playing along you can just follow the chord sheet and I'm playing exactly what's on there. Here we go. Verse 2. chord. 
All right, there we go. Our first hymn with only four chords, All Creatures Ever God and King. Hope you could play along with that. Um, if you're watching right now and you have any questions or comments, or you just want to say things, that's fine with me. There's a live chat on the side. You can talk to me. There is a slight delay, so if I don't see it right away, that's because there's a delay. If you're just joining us, this is four hymns with four chords. Uh, all of the chord sheets are on my website, www.reawakenhymns.com. Click on the chords tab and you'll find all the hymns we're doing there. So that was all creatures. Um, the other hymns we're doing there are Be Thou My Vision, I Surrender All, and the other one I said earlier. What did I say? Be Thou My Vision, I Surrender All, All Creatures Ever Got Again. Ah. Oh. Forgot the hymn already. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Nothing but the blood of Jesus is our other one. So our next one will be I Surrender All. Before I do that, I just want to address the stegosaurus in the room. There is a stegosaurus in the room. You might be wondering why in the world there's a stegosaurus in the room. This is my guest today. This is Ronald. He is my tech director for my other channel, Minus Studio. Um, so if you're in a small church and you're looking for tech resources and stuff directed at churches that really don't have many resources, uh, check that out, Minus Studio. Uh, you can search that on YouTube. But that's Ronald. He's my tech director. Obviously, that channel is a little goofy, you can tell. Um, all right, so our next hymn is I Surrender All. Same four chords. <clears throat> so we have the C, G, A minor, G, C to start, and we don't add the F until the chorus. So again, thank you, Grant Williams. Uh, again, I'll kind of call out the chords as we go through the first verse and maybe the chorus and then I'll just play and you guys can play along. Right. If you're just joining us, this is four hymns, four chords each. There's chord sheets on my website at www.reawakenhymns.com. This is I Surrender All. Here we go. Start with our one. All to Jesus to the five. I surrender to the six. To the five, these are quick. I freely back to the one. Is that's a quick change? I will to G love and trust in the honor in his presence daily. Living. Of course, see, I serve. Next verse, verse 2, and the chorus now. All to Jesus I surrender may be Savior holy thine. Let me feel the Holy Spirit true. We know that thou art Yeah. 
There we go. I surrender all in the key of C. Again, this is four hymns with four chords each. Uh, our next hymn will be Nothing But the Blood of Jesus. Chord sheet's available on the website, www.reawakenhymns.com. Click on the chord tabs and you'll find all the chord or all the chord sheets we're doing for the hymns here today for free. So you can play along with me. Uh, I just want to go over our chords real quick again if you're just joining us. So we are in the key of C, and three of our four chords are normal and one's kind of goofy, just so you know what's going on. So our one chord is our C, and that's just a typical everyday C chord. Also, again, if you're watching live, please comment if you have any questions or comments, or you just want to say hi. I'd love to talk to you if you just want to say hi. All right, back to this. Our one chord is our typical C. Our four chord is a fairly typical F, but we're not going to bar with our first finger. We're just going to hold on that B string. Our five chord is our goofy one. So that one we're keeping our, our pointer finger where it is on the B string on the C. And we're just moving the other two up to where you would typically play a G chord. Sounds a little goofier. And our A minor chord is a typical everyday A minor chord. So our C chord. Sorry, I added my pinky. I'll accidentally add my pinky sometimes. You don't have to do that. Our C chord, our one chord, our F chord, our four chord, our G chord is our five chord, and our A minor is our six. All right, let's get to our third hymn with four chords. Is nothing but the blood of Jesus. I'm gonna cable up on this one because it's super low if I play it in C. I'm gonna go way, way up. You don't have to go this high. Well, I guess if you're playing along, you do, but. So for you, this would be capoed on four. I'm down tuned, so this is, would be wrong for you. Ignore this. You would be capoed on four if you're playing along with me right now. All right, so I'll, I'll say the chords at the first verse. Oops, just changed my chord sheet. I'll say the chords on the first verse and chorus, and then I'll play the rest, and you can play along. Here we go. Start with our one chord. What can wash to our six chord? Away my sin to our four chord. Nothing but the blood of. Then our five chord's a transition and it's really quick. So Jesus. So it's just Jesus. So our five is just one beat. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Sorry, it's two beats. So second, second phrase, third line, what can make me whole again? What can make me whole again? To our F, nothing but the blood of, here's a quick one, Jesus. Let's go to our chorus, oh precious is the flow.
nothing but the blood thank you so much for watching if you're just joining us this is four hymns with four chords each where we're learning four hymns that are pretty easy to play on the guitar we're in the key of C today uh, if you're watching live right now I'd love for you to comment on the live chat uh, just like know you're here you can tell me whatever you want you can tell me your favorite food your favorite color your favorite episode of full house uh, anything really it's fine with me um, this is the first time we've really done a live guitar tutorial uh, with the easy hymn idea. Kind of an experiment. If you like it, please let me know so I know to do more. Uh, you can tell me in the live chat or if you're watching later at home after this is live, you can leave a comment and let me know. I do plan on doing another one with uh, four hymns with four chords in the key of G. And then we'll get super crazy and we'll do hymns with three chords each. Uh, that'll be fun. So thank you so much for watching. We're gonna do one more hymn today. Uh, this is our final hymn with four chords. This is kind of our graduate level because it still only has all the same four chords, but they're kind of fast Then there's a lot of them. Um, so I'll go through it pretty slow to start, maybe with a couple verses and then I'll play normal speed and you can play along. So this is Be Thou my vision. Oh, I did want to mention if you're just joining us, you're probably confused why there's a stegosaurus next to me. Um, well, wh why wouldn't there be? Really, this is my guest. It's uh, Ronald. He's my tech director for my other channel, Minus Studio, which is goofier than this one, if you can tell. Um, but go check that out if you're in a small church and you deal with tech resources and stuff. So, be thou my vision. If you don't have the chords yet, www.reawakenhymns.com. Click on the chords tab and you can find the chord sheet to play along. So I'm going to go real slow through the first verse here, Be Thou My Vision, because there's a lot of chords. And this is also in compound meter. This is in 3-4. So let's start. Oh, I'm not going to capo there, though. I'm going to capo on 4. And I'm down tuned, so you would capo on 2. So you are capoing on 2. You're playing along with me. Cape on two, not four. Two, I'm down to into cape on two. If you cape on four, it'll sound very wrong. So, be thou my vision. I'll go really slow through the first verse. Here we go. Start with our C. Be thou, in the A minor, my vision. To the F, O, Lord of my, to the C, R, to the G, not be all. A minor, else to Say that thou, G, R, A minor, thou my best F, far by C, D, or by my F, C, waking or sleeping, thy presence, my life. That was a super quick one. If you want to pick like me, I'm just picking down. Three on each chord. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go over that one more time. I'm not gonna call out the chords, but I am gonna play it slow. Here you go. Be thou my vision, O Lord of my heart. Not be all else to me. Say
are sleeping thy presence my life I beat out my vision so you can see that last chord in the verse is really quick the presence my life the G is only one beat all right there we go got it this one's much much more chords in a weird order and they come faster but i have confidence in you you can do it it's the same four chords i will play it fairly slow and you can play along with me you can just strum each chord once if that's easier that would be just fine so let's do that i'm gonna start with verse two since we just went over verse one here we go be thou my wisdom Sorry about that. I with the one. There you go. Verse three. Riches I heed not, nor man's empty praise. Thou mine inheritance now and always. Thou got it nice that was four chords with four hymns each and if you played them all then you get a beautiful graduation certificate that i did not make uh, because i just thought of it now and i really should have but congratulations you now know four hymns with four chords each and we will do more of these uh next one will be in the key of g and then we'll go crazy and do one with only three chords um so thank you so much for watching um if you want to go back, there's chord sheets available on my website. Just say it one more time, www.reawakenhymns.com. Uh, let me answer Grant here. I typically don't do worship sets. Um, yes, I do. And yes, I do it for the reason that you just said, uh, to adjust to different singers. Um, our current church, actually our previous church as well, but this one is a little higher. For some reason, we love the key of F. The key of F is a great key for us, um, and I don't want to play the key of F. Um, so I used to capo on five or yeah five and play in the key of C, but that was pretty high. So I decided to just down tune and play in the key of G a lot. Um, I also like it because the key of B is a decent key for when you're playing in the key when you're playing C chords. Um, so I really like that. It really depends on your church and what you play the most and what they can do. Um, also. When I play at my last chapel, we play with kids and they really like the keys of E and F as well. So it was just way easier for me to, to down tune. And then I could play the key of F and G. Uh, and then it's a pretty versatile. I mean, if you play in the key of G and the key of C and you capo, you can cover pretty much every key very well. The only difficult one is E. Um, 
because you have to keep early on C, but then you can just play the E because E's not that hard. So I really like it. I actually like it better than standard tuning because with standard tuning, F is really hard to get to, and it's a key I really like playing in. And I love the sound of down tuning guitars. They're just really low and rumbly, and I like that, especially when you're playing by yourself. If you're playing with a bass guitar, it might get in the way. But So yes, that is why I down tune. Um, thank you so much for watching, everybody. Uh, we will have another one of these soon. We also have another reawa reawaken uh, hymn request live, which is where I just play whatever hymn you guys want me to, and those are super fun. So if you never joined us before for that, you should do so. And you should subscribe to Reawaken Hymns and Mine Studio. You should subscribe to Reawaken Hymns so you'll get all the notifications for all these and see all future hymns. And of course, Easter is coming up, so we'll have something fun going on for that as well. So thank you so much for joining us. I will see you guys next time. If I can figure out how to stop my stream. Let's try again. I'll see you all next time.